guys, so um, yeah, we're back in Pennsylvania. I went to LA for 10 days. I do have a ton of vlog footage and I it's like so much footage and I wanna upload it and I wanted that to be the next video. However, the things I was shooting behind the scenes of, I'm not allowed to put out until those things come out. So I have all this amazing vlog footage and I just like couldn't upload it. I know it's like so painful as a YouTuber whenever that happens, but this is my first day back in Pennsylvania. I have to really clean today. I have to organize my stuff, unpack. So I wanna do another like cleaning slash mental health girl talk life update story time video. Let's just move this into my bathroom for the time being. Okay. I'm gonna start talking about, huh. I'm gonna talk about my sexuality. My like whole coming out thing has definitely been like not a big deal, which is what I love because I think that like coming out should never be a big deal. Like literally a fun fact about you, a preference. When did I know um, my whole life? And for those of you guys that are like really like thrown off by this, I came out in a really weird way. But yeah, so how did I know? I had a gay awakening story, or I, I definitely have one. I feel like everybody has a moment like where they think back to where they were like, that was the exact moment like I knew knew. Actually, we're gonna go way back. When me and Gabby were little, like we would invite our friends over, like our girlfriends over for sleepovers and it always turned out like, we always ended up playing truth or dare or seven minutes in heaven in our bathroom or like I was always experimenting as a kid and like yeah I guess kids do that stuff because like you're young and like you're just trying to have fun and like you're innocent and you don't know what any of this means but looking back like I used to I always like kiss my little girlfriends like first grade second grade third grade fourth grade blah 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 Then all of a sudden you get to middle school and all of a sudden you realize wait there's such thing as lesbians wait there's such thing as People that like guys and girls like what and then come middle school once I realized there were things about myself that weren't Accepted then I started getting like more introverted for sure and I wouldn't act on what I wanted to do I would watch America's Next Top Model in middle school and there was one season that specifically sticks out and it's season five and there was um, a contestant named Kim I remember being 12 years old and like my grandparents were babysitting me and I remember watching this season and like there was a part where she kissed someone in a limo and I was like why do I why do I want that to be me like what's going on and I was like 11 or 12 One down, 11 to go. <laughs> so middle school happened I transferred schools and then boys actually started liking me like once I transferred schools and I, I do have attraction to boys like I'm I'm I like boys and girls I'm bi so like it it was easy to like shut off that one side of myself and just completely throw myself into boys which is what I did and I had fun because I love boys too boys are awesome 12 13 I was going through my boy crazy phase but um things I would watch online did not reflect that then I got my heart broken by a boy and shut off the emotions with affection completely. I dated guys in seventh and eighth grade and then all of a sudden just nothing until senior year of high school. The majority of high school I was a stan and I just stand celebrities and I didn't have time for a relationship. Justin Bieber was like the only celebrity guy that I've ever really had a crush on. I gave up on that obsession because I had another crush and this crush wasn't a guy and I feel like my parents knew or at least my mom Gabby knew and it was Demi Lovato and I always talk about Demi Lovato when I started YouTube if you guys have been following me that long hey guys this is Nikki and this is my Demi Lovato inspired hair I am a huge Lovatic I followed Demi since 2008 you guys probably saw my vlogs seeing her in concert these are just some pictures from the concert it was honestly the best night ever at first I thought I wanted to be her but then I didn't and then I realized I wanted her. Demi Lovato said no to me on X Factor when I was 18 and that definitely felt like a heartbreak and I don't think my parents knew why I was so heartbroken over the fact that Demi Lovato said no. So having Demi Lovato say no to my dreams felt like I was going through a breakup and I lost my dreams. So I was like really depressed after that. Siri, cute I'm a mess by BB Rexa. Okay, so the story. My first relationship, senior year of high school. And ex-boyfriend, if you're watching this, I feel like you knew. 
and I'm sorry, but I also am not sorry. And I'm sorry for certain things because I wasn't, I definitely wasn't as in as he was. And it's because I was just, it was such a weird, confusing time for me. And I just like didn't explore or know anything about myself. I didn't know why I had to, oh my God, are we going to go here? Are we going to go here? Are we gonna go here? I would take my mind other places while hooking up. Like everything I'm talking about, I would have never dared put in a YouTube video. Like these are my deepest, darkest secrets. Well, they were. But anyways, so, okay, the story is like really long, wow. I just remember going to this party after a football game. That is so not my scene, like going to someone's house that I've never been before, partying with people I'm not close with. That is so not a Nikki thing. And the host of the party was my ex, is my ex-boyfriend. So he was throwing the party. He really pursued me. He said he always wanted to date me. And I think I knew at the time what I was dealing with. So I was like, I don't know. I didn't want to date him. This sounds bad, but like, I didn't want to date him at first. I, I cause I, I was figuring things out. I like didn't want to cheat on Demi. What the fuck? Like saying this out loud. But then my family, they were like, Nikki, like you should probably date somebody. Like you're a senior in high school. You should just give it a try. All right, we're gonna move into my closet. So that relationship, I ended up falling in love with him. It was more of like, it took a really long time, probably six months in, once I lost my virginity, I felt really attached. Cause you know, like hormones and all that stuff. And he was really, really comfortable. I could not have gotten through senior year without him. He was like my rock and I think I got really used to having somebody there. I like started relying on this person maybe more than I should have, maybe even sometimes using him, which is really hard for me to admit because I hate to ever feel like I ever did that to somebody. Like, I don't know. He ended up breaking up with me and finding another girl right away. That really fucked me up for the longest time. Even though I was really sad, I did feel like I was held back in some ways and I was kind of excited to explore myself, which is what I did. And to this day, I have friends reaching out to me saying, yo, you know when you were drunk in 2017, you hooked up with this girl or you hooked up with my one friend, like she said you did. And I was a messy drunk by curious girl during that time period. And that was one of like the most free moments of my life. It was so dark, don't get me wrong, because I felt like so betrayed. And I just felt really good and sad, if that makes any sense. I didn't share this on YouTube, but I would like hook up with girls at the bar. And I, I, would, I would drink a lot. Second, 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 second. Woo! And I felt more comfortable around, around women. I felt like I could be myself more. <sighs> we went through the ottoman. Okay, change, change locations. Okay, Woo. guys, we're getting some shit done and I feel really good talking talking with camera is just as Therapeutic as writing in a journal and the fact that I'm gonna post this and you guys are just gonna get in my head and understand me more Makes me so happy. I definitely Realized I am 100% bisexual in 2017 and the reason I didn't come out at, in 2017 is because I fell in love with Nate, my boyfriend, in 2017. It's like real love. Like I really love him. Even though I don't put him in my vlogs and I don't post him, he's my muse for all my writing. Yeah, so I start dating Nate and that completely happened on accident. So, meet Nate. Hey guys. <laughs> Me and Nate, like, we're saying I love you and being intimate without even asking each other to date because it just naturally happened. I remember definitely having anxiety about, like, oh my god, am I really about to get into another long-term relationship when, like, I only had, like, this amount of time to, like, figure myself out. But I loved him enough that it didn't matter. So here's to my girls in a relationship who are questioning their sexuality or know that they are bisexual. My advice is just be unapologetic. Being 100% who you are is the right way to weave out who's not supposed to be in your life. And I wish I knew that sooner. Also to the people in a serious relationship that know that they are bi, I just wanna let you know that like, it's never too late to come out no matter how old you are. It's your life and you can live it by your own rules. There's no timeline to self-discovery. But yeah, guys, I don't wanna drag on this video. Oh my God, am I really ending it this messy? We're, we're gonna clean up a bit and then I'm gonna catch up with you guys. Also, like while I'm cleaning, it just occurred to me like, no one knows how I came out. I came out, not on accident. I feel bad, because this girl definitely feels a type of way. I feel bad, she feels like she outed me. But it was the last day of June, it was the last day of Pride Month. And I was talking to my friends and I just felt like, ugh. It felt right. I just knew I wanted to do it. I was definitely scared because I didn't come out to Nate yet. And I literally, I came out to a tweet 
of Demi Lovato and someone tweeted me a photo of her and it was her performing for Pride Month and I like said something I forget I'm gonna have the tweet pop up here someone replied saying are you into girls I could see you with a girl and I replied yes and then that blew up on Twitter that's how I came out it was kind of like on accident I don't want to even say on accident it was just natural to the girl that helped me say something on Twitter thank you you did not out me to this day she literally tweets me thinking she outed me you did not out me I outed myself and thank you because you freed me from my myself and if I ever meet you I need to give you a big hug all right back to cleaning hello guys okay so I think I did a good job however we gotta get rid of this box just throw it out there move this to the middle guys th that was me cleaning out my closet and just like really really like spilling some stuff that I've been actually putting off to talk about I hate cleaning and I didn't film majority of me doing this because like I ate dinner in between like you know I didn't want to like keep rolling but I felt like the talk that I had in this video outweighed you guys watching me clean I feel like you guys always see me clean on my channel yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I feel really, really close with you guys. I love you so much. There's so much coming. And there's also stuff obviously coming on Nikki and Gabby as well. Comment down below any other topics you want to see me talk about while I clean. Because <laughs> that's the only thing that gets me to want to clean. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe. Become an iconic with a K. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Now I'm alone in my car and I'm running through my thoughts Don't I need to get away cause my stomach's in a knot Should I leave the